One people. The I want to interest you. There is information that cannot be hidden. We borrowed money from World Bank during the COVID period. Part of that money was spent on buying vaccines. We now as a country have vaccines that have expired worth 300 billion shilling. Part of the money we borrowed from the World Bank. We are now waiting for the money from Gavi, which is meant to finance other health care to destroy the expired vaccines. You need to interest yourself in the report of the Auditor General. Uganda now has a debt close to 100 trillion that we need to pay. But you can see those who are leading the country, the way they are enjoying. I recently published some, I'm not sure they were all, the list of Museveni's convoy of 70 vehicles. The wife has another set, the son has. They also have vehicles for households to bring them tomato and onions. Yet there are no ambulances in public facilities. So the struggle we are involved in, it's not just a struggle to go and uh, rescue Najana Nkombi. And if we did, then we should throw a party and celebrate that now we have taken over Najana Nkombi. That's not our struggle. The struggle we are involved in is to rescue Uganda. Dr. Mesje and his colleagues who went to Luero, at the time of departure from Uganda to go to Luero to fight, they were Uganda Patriotic Movement, UPM. He knows when they became NRA. So the name of the platform under which you are fighting to free yourself, for me, does not matter. Otherwise, Dr. Mesje and those with whom they went to Luero would have returned here as Uganda Patriotic Movement, but they returned as NRA. There are people who are sentimental about this, and I know now I am scratching your own. When you think about the journey the Honorable Sarah Musum has spoken about of 20 years, there are those who can't let the FDC go. They would rather go and get buried with it. Please count me out, and I want to apologize to you. I want to be and spend the rest of my career fighting to rescue Uganda, not fighting to rescue Najana Nkumbi. Those who are there are crying. So I go and join them and we do what? <laughs> we should not be able to get our people. The other day they were lined up like children to go and shake hands and take photos with Museven and son. Then in the corridors of parliament they are crying. I said, you about to Do you know what they have done to us? So I want to invite uh, members of the council and all the FDC where you are. Dr. Wesley led us here 2011 when we went on the street to protest during the walk to work. We started as FOC. So we started here protesting as action for change, FOC. Midway seven took over FOC. We became for God and my country. And we are willing to continue changing names because for me the name does not matter. Please, those of you who are sentimental about FDC and you don't, you, you don't imagine yourself doing politics, the circumstances may force you to call yourself a different name. Museven is your Museven Tivuhavulwa. During the world, he was cursing. I don't know how many other names he has had. <laughs> so the obsession, I see it among our colleagues here. And I'm just inviting you. And that serves also to, to tell you we are in this together. 
I received many phone calls. People, are you now leaving us? So, I, so when I leave you, I go and do what? So we are in this together. That's why even with FDC, you will see Dr. SJ speaking and trying to all the forces that are fighting for freedom. Because even with FDC, it is not enough. So I want to assure you, we are in it together. We will walk the journey together until our country is rescued. Maybe I should also tell colleagues who are in the media, because they keep asking me now, where are you going next? I am fighting for Uganda, I'm going nowhere. <laughs> I am still here and I will join hands with everybody, with anyone who wants to fight for Uganda. I think that uh, answers the, those of you who have been calling me. So in Parliament, that's the struggle we are involved in. Every day you discover they have stolen this. As you are chasing them, you, be, you find they have stolen something else. And I don't think they are about to stop. And I want to thank my colleagues who have been uh, steady. Colleagues who are here. You see, Parliament can be very difficult. At the level of the Parliament, you think someone is empowered. Today is with you. Tomorrow is calling you from home. I am with you, but I am unable to come and uh, be with you in the public. <laughs> that is unable to. Please don't worry, we are still together. But that together he wants to associate with you in hiding. So those of you who are here, don't think that you're liberating only yourselves. Even people at the parliamentary level need to be liberated. <laughs> so I want to thank you very much. Um, that's what we have at uh, in parliament. We will continue fight. And please, we want to assure you, we are in this together, we will work together, and one day Uganda will be free. Thank you very much.